And hello everyone, welcome to the show of Make Code Python for Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, so now while I'm talking, you can maybe leave uh, the game. I'm trying to. Uh, so we are here in Minecraft Education Edition and we'll be doing some coding in Python here. My name is Pelly from the Make Code team and we have Nell here, Pythonista extraordinaire. Uh, oh, oh, oh you touched a button. <laughs> That was so cool. That was so cool. <laughs> All right, and we're here in Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, you can sign in in this version of Minecraft using your school account if your school is using Office 365. If it doesn't work, check out the video. There's some links on helping you enable that. And with that further ado, we're going to be doing some coding when Nell is done playing with the... <laughs> I'm trying to... Playing? No, you're, you're here. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, press the play button. Put your hand on the play button. Oh, Did it. there we go. Uh, we're gonna create a new world. I can't yeah. do it. We're gonna be creating a. Um, what about we just do the block of grass? <coughs> yeah, so you want to be creative, peaceful. <coughs> I didn't turn on coordinates. Did yeah. I? Yeah. Oh well. All right. Look, I can touch this so we're stone doing, block. It's so hard. We're doing make code coding, and we've been doing Python in this series, um, moving on from the blocks and trying out to do some text coding in the make code editor. So as usual, to start coding after messing around in Minecraft, you're going to press C. C. And you'll get uh, straight into make code if you've done it already, but... Um, we haven't. If you haven't, then uh, now how about we move the code editor on the other side now? Okay. So you can use it. There we go. Then you'll find yourself here, and you'll click Microsoft, and then here you are. And you are. Uh, and we've been doing uh, funny tutorials. Let's see what tutorial we're doing this time. Um, <coughs> how about we do the... Um, What's Leaping Salmon? We can try that. Leaping salmon, guide your salmon's friends home. Aim for the pond. Oh, well, that looks fun. That doesn't and, seem nice. Uh, we're gonna help our fish friends in Python. So writing test code. Look out, salmons are leaping dangerously high. Okay. I didn't get the rest of the sentence. Oh, well then we'll go. Yeah, go up to one. We must create ponds for them to land in. That sounds like a great mission. We'll use attraction to cause the salmon to make giant leaps into the sky. Put it on a item you set the type to trident. All right. So uh, run on code when the item is used, yes. Uh, and when our line is too large, we can... Uh, you know, how about we zoom in a bit on the text? There we go. So Wait. when we have too much text and it starts scrolling to the right, you can scroll or you can just put a new line here. It'll be easier. And you press enter. All right. And what I like to do is actually, you know, I'll indent it. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Hey, there's something there. So to recap, you know, what are we seeing here? We're seeing code that says oh. that when an item is interacted, which one? Try it. No, I'm shuffle, but we won't yeah, we try should, it. We should change that. Will it use tab if I put my mouse over here? No. Yeah. Tab completes. Use the arrow keys. And tab. Boom, like a pro. All right, so we're, we're telling the game engine Whenever an item, Trident, is, is interacted, run this function. And this function is? Can I? This function here. Cool. Right? Uh-huh. Wait. Can we try it? It's nothing primary. will happen. Yeah, nothing will happen. Let's, let's do a bit more. We want multiple fish to spawn for each Trident use. So insert for a loop and set repeat count to six. This will spawn six fish six times. Okay. Here. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna slouch down. 
I know what I'm gonna do. All right, so we're gonna do a for loop. So we're gonna be iterating for numbers. Woo, for loop. Here we go. And place it in the function. Right here, we don't yeah, want, we don't that, want space. that space. How come there's two passes? Pass is like an empty line. And you want six, 10. Yes. Now, look, this is very important Python. Pass is like an empty line. Mm -hmm. And see how there's squiggles? Mm -hmm. it, it should be indented. It should be just like in the blocks inside of the mouth. Imagine there's a mouth here. So what you want to do is tab it. Hit tab. Tab. Now, whoops. Oh. One time. Now, see there's a little line here? Mm-hmm. That tells you that it's un kind of nested under it. And that's so that cool. little line is an indicator. Let me go and add a new line here to get some fresh air. See then the line here? That line tells you, hmm, I'm nested under four. So that's the code that's going to repeat. Okay. <coughs> now it's time to spawn some salmon in the loop. So you go spawn a chicken and then. You put it. Nest it under the for loop. Yep. There we go. And we don't need pass anymore. We'll keep cleaning our code as we code it. Uh, so we're spawning chickens. Salmon. Can we spawn tropical fish? Yeah, we could spawn. Uh, I think salmon is this jumping one. So we need salmon. And tab it. How come there's Mr. Squiggles there? Uh, Mr. Squiggles is very picky and comes in. And he's very slow. Yeah. Cool. So we are spawning. Now we can test this. We're going back in the game. Um, and we are going to... A... We need a trident. I need a trident. I got a trident. And we need to shoot that trident where we want fish. Not working. Oh, wait, there we go. I want fish there. You have to oh, wait. shoot it out. There you go. Oh, we go. <gasps> salmon. <laughs> the poor salmons. I've... They need water. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have no water. Water, water, please. Okay, let's see. When will we add some water? <gasps> Mob spawn random position. We'll make it so someone spawn at random location so it's harder to catch them. You have to catch them? No, we're going to spawn them in different spots. Okay, so. Mob spawn, shall we? So we're going we're gonna to use this. So right now we're always spawning them at the same spot. So what you want to do is actually, let's undo this. You want to go where you want to replace your code. So this is one you replace. We're going to remove this. And now we're going to introduce. Pick random. Pick random. And it's then. It's way too long, so we're going to break it out in multiple lines. No, one line. And Can so, I? see, Mr. Squiggle is really unhappy. Huh. It says, ooh. I was expecting a parenthesis, and when you see that, it means you're missing a parenthesis. So if you move your mouse, no, it doesn't work. All right, so if you move your mouse here, you see this is closing this. Mm -hmm. These two are together, right? Mm -hmm. If you do it here, let me put it here. These two are together, mm -hmm. right? Now, if I put it here, uh oh, nobody. Right? Uh, There's no closing parenthesis for this one. Where's your parenthesis? So it's on top of the zero on the QWERTY keyboard. Shift zero. And now you see they're paired. Your parenthesis, they always come in twos. And Mr. Squiggle is gone. <laughs> He's very picky. He's very picky. Is he going to kill me? Uh, why is the, the play button? Oh, yeah, it's the green screen. It has, has some problem. <laughs> probably your shadow <coughs> it is your shadow it's my shadow yeah <gasps> I'm so mean but um, 
We didn't change completely the code now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> like, negative six. Yeah, so we're going to go six uh, east west. If you want to move, you have to use the arrow keys. What? Then you want to do 60 here. They're going to fly. They're going to fall from high. Super high. Negative six. <gasps> delete. delete. Oh, yeah. Or skill. Ha! Huh, Mr. <laughs> Squiggles. Mr. Squiggles, yeah. Uh, yep. He's always checking. So he's like, oh, I need a number here. How's that, Mrs. Squiggles? Yeah, don't worry about Mrs. Squiggles until you're done typing. Because in the middle of the typing, it's going to be wrong. Okay, now look up. Oh, yeah. They, they die immediately. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they didn't like falling off on the ground. They certainly did not. That's some good sound in there. That's a new way to kill Salmon. All right. We're making our way through the tutorial, and we've changed the code to go random. Uh, what the heck? Is, what, what is this? We just made it so the salmon leap extremely high. We should create a pond to catch them so that they don't get injured when they land. Use another item used when kelp is used. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in the player. And then drag this at the bottom of our code. Yep. Wait, I might want another space. Yeah, it's good to put spaces. There you go. Much nicer. Ooh, what did I do? You scrolled. So scroll, I see the, the horizontal scroll? I'm gonna grab it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, wait. Yeah, we're gonna new line that and tab it. There we go. And we're gonna... Kelp. Kelp it. Do you know what that is? No, some kind of something. Kelp item. There we go. This looks like what we were asked to do. No, Actually, on item interacted kelp. Yeah, so let's rename those. Here? Yeah. Delete. Underscore. Underscore. No. You have to do shift minus. There we go. Kelp. Love underscore in Python. You put underscore between words. Uh, and then here. And here, Miss Casquillo is telling you, hey, I don't know who he's attracted to is. Like, oh, well, here you go, Mr. Squiggles. Oh, wait, they need to be cat locked. No. Oh. There you go. Why? Looks good. Looks better. <laughs> okay. So we've created a second item. And when we trigger that, we're going to create our pond. <coughs> okay. All right. So, so creating have... ponds were pretty good. This is not going to do anything, though. Oh, you want to find the kelp? Mm. Mm, kelp, kelp, kelp. Uh, kelp. You want a kelp item. So I don't know which one it is. Kelp. It's probably this one. How do you use a kelp? I don't, first, I want to see. You just do the key to use it. What is the key? The same as you do it with the trident. I, I hold it long. Okay. Well, we need code. Right now, there's no code. Yeah. We'll see when there's code. Okay. No. Nope. Oh. <coughs> Blocks fill water position zero 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 yeah. position. Yeah, we're building a pool. We know how to do that. Ah, uh, here. And the item interacted kelp function. Yes, I know. That's why I have to go space here. Let's put a new line here. Where you go? No, we want it here. Now look. It's in depth. You oh. Want it here. Oh. Per 
effect. Okay, position. Let's put some new lines here and clean up. There you go. Uh, wait. Yeah. Um. Let's fill it with grass. No. No, no, no. no. Water. And. I have a problem. Tab it. We really don't have a hole to put water in. It's fine. We're just going to replace whatever is existing with water. Mm, okay. And let's go next. And we want to do... Negative two, negative one, negative two, uh, two, negative... Okay, I got this. <laughs> yeah. I guess we should make it as... Wait, 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 wait. It should be... I think the tutorial is wrong. It should be minus six, six. Should make sure that the salmon fall on the on the pool accident streaming accident. <laughs> so we want to go deep. So they were saying minus one. Yeah. Oh, you want to be minus one because then it's, they're going to be jumping. And we're going to go minus six here. And then here we're going to do. Six, same depth, so minus one still, and yeah, far away six. There you go. Nope. Six. Goals. What is yeah, the there problem? Yeah, there we go. Okay, can we try? Yeah. So let's try to run this kelp. Oh, there it works. And then, and then you want to go to one and shoot some trident. Yeah. But they don't jump. But they jump. They this one jumps. Maybe it's because it's night. Let's go back to day. Let's change it. I kill them. Go into settings and do all day. Okay. Good. No. Alright, so we can go in the settings, settings. of the world. Uh, and we want all day. Clock and time. Always day. Let's see if these salmons are jumping now. Look at the pool to the left. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, but they need a jump. Okay, well, let's finish the tutorial. Maybe we're missing a step. No, I want to see if they only jump once. All right, so we run the kelp. And we spawn them. Oh, no, we missed a step, maybe. We're probably missing a step. All right, I think we've done that. They should be flying. You're all... No. No, Make the no. trident to make some salmon leap high in the sky, then quickly keep the kelp and use it to create a pond under it so it can land safely. You have to react quickly. I guess they don't. I guess they don't. It's only to save salmon. Well, we can artificially have them jump. So let's create a new... Uh, let's use another item. This is going to be fun. We're going to teleport uh, uh, all, the fi all the salmon a bit higher. Oh, then why don't you just use the code to make them higher? Oh, you know what? Let's do that here. So we can add uh, forever here. Uh, you have to go on codes. Uh, loops. loops. So once we've created our pool, we're going to... Oh, you know what? We're just going to do a while true. We're going to... Loop forever, so well true, well true. And here we're just gonna teleport. So we can say, where is teleport? Teleport. Take it. Oh no, I need, I need teleport the mobs. Teleport, there you go. Can I do it for you? Teleport here, whoops. I got this. Oh. Okay, so what is this? Because it's on 
and here. <clears throat> okay, so we want to teleport all mobs, all entities. I think there's a way to actually be more precise. No, I want all entities. We can say. We can say. Oh, there you go. All chicken. We want. Oh, okay. Do I, do I gotta take a whole dish out? Yeah, we take this line out. Hold on. We can do this. So we so delete this. Exit out. We just want the fish. I don't want to end up in the pool. Okay. Keep going. The whole thing. All the way to here. And There's now, still this comma. Yeah, we need it. And we're going to say, all oh, the chickens come here. No. Not all chickens, all salmon. Oh, yeah, salmon. <coughs> salmon. And zero, zero, zero is fine. Because we're already in the pool. As long as we stay in the pool, we're fine. I always start with the kelp. All right. So we do the pool. We stay there. Stay there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, the problem is we spawn them constantly. We need to have the pause. <laughs> we, we, we teleport around this all the time. Can let's, it, go, let's go back to the code. Can it, like, stop following me? Well, you teleport them constantly to you. <gasps> yes, they died. So how about... <gasps> They're still jumping. How about we do that every... Touch... Uh, ten How long seconds. do you want to wait? Ten seconds. That's, That's a ten thousand second. milliseconds. Oh, good. So um, ten seconds too much. Let's do one second. Okay. Or two that... seconds. That's good. Now go. All right. Let's try it. Let's go do a pool. Boom. Get that kelp. <coughs> Yeah, so one, two, and they respawn. Oh, now they're leaping. You know, we could store the, the center of the pool. <gasps> Look, they leap. We could store the center of the pool in a, core, in a variable. Then we could, they wouldn't follow us anymore. I don't really want that. Well, we can skip that and do it for, uh, for another episode of Make Good Python. All right. Uh, I think is, we're done for today. This is fun. Look. <laughs> Yeah, so every 10 seconds, we respawn them all on our Two. position. Two. And then they fall into the pool. We just... Uh... Actually, now they'll die. <laughs> yeah, so that's very mean of you. On the other hand, we can eat salmon now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go and take a look at the code. Yep. And that's all the code we did today. Uh, yeah. Uh, whoa. And if you're wondering what it looks like in blocks, uh, that's what it looks like in blocks. Not that bad. Not that bad. That's pretty fun. And we've got some leaping salmon going on. Yeah. And that's all for Make Good Python for today. See you in another episode.